Hello everybody, I'm in a different, I'm in the spare room of my house because it's warm and it's really cold in my filming room. So I've moved down here and I've been doing some IGTVs down here. Um, I'm also filming it on my phone. Um, so whether this works, I don't know. But welcome back to Pixie Room. I bought some new products. My dogs are going to try and get in. This is like going back to the old school YouTube days where um, you're in a bedroom and your dogs come in. That was perfectly timed, Winnie. Well done. Um, I have bought some new products which I want to give a little test. I'm popping out to the shops in a minute. Um, so I thought I'll put some makeup on. I've got to film a video for YouTube anyway, so I'll film that. So um, I bought some new products and I'm going to slap them on my face and you can see them. Um, I want to pop a little bit of this Nutribise The Cure under my eyes first because this is good. I've already put some moisturiser on. Whether this video actually makes it up, we will see. Because the clarity might be really, really bad. I just love this product. It lifts your under eyes so beautifully. Oh, please don't let anyone be in the gardens outside because that dog is nuts and she will bark constantly. So, some things that I bought, a couple that um, I was gifted, but most of this I've bought actually because um, I do like having a little bit of a spend on makeup. I bought this Stilla, I had a little spend on Stilla. I bought this Stilla um, All Day 10 in 1 HD Illuminating Balm. I think this is great for holidays. I can't remember what colours this comes in, um, but I'm going to pop it onto my skin. Little buffing motions, I think this is lovely, lightweight just evens out the skin um hopefully it does other colors because this color would not work for everyone i don't know what i've done with the box it was recycling day so i got rid of all the boxes quickly when stuff arrived yesterday i was like quick get the recycling out so now i have no information but i like this it's very light very very light but it is very very beautiful at the same time i think that's a great school run kind of product doesn't look like you've got anything on just even skin tone out a little bit so that is still a stay all day 10 in one also what i bought from stiller again were these which are um, aqua glow serum foundation i tested this out yesterday didn't realise that you use that to pump it out. They had run out of light, so I had to go for a medium and a fair. Because I thought, mm, well, I'll mix them anyway. So I'm mixing the two together, so I imagine I'm more of a light in colour. I'm using my Real Techniques contour brush. This foundation I tried yesterday and I was like, oh my God, that is what dreams are made of. It is luscious. Thank you very much, Stilla. Stila? Stilla? Stila. Trying to keep liquid makeup away from my chin because it makes my dermatitis flare up. Nothing else seems to make it flare up, but foundation does. So I've been using a powder foundation. This is a Bare Minerals Bare Pro in the colour um, Natural 11. And I just dust that over my chin area where I get my dermatitis until that is completely gone. Which takes a very long time. I'm just using a light powder over that. Isn't that foundation nice? Now another thing I've been doing which I really really like is using a eyeshadow primer. Um, this one, this is an eyeshadow and primer in one by Bare Minerals again. The Bare Minerals things were gifted to me um, a while back, but I haven't really used much of them until I got my dermatitis and thought, oh, I'll try Bare Minerals. And I do like their concealers in these. These are the eye bases, but this one is in the colour Lit. It is so nice under the eyes. I'm gonna take it over the eyes as well, because that's the actual job it does. It's so nice just in that real area there just to lift the under eyes. I take a deluxe crease brush 
and just buff that in. I'm keeping it in that area because it's obviously a primer so it will set. I only keep it in that area so it doesn't crease but it so lifts my under eyes. Makes me very, very happy. This is like the old school days of YouTube dog coming in and out. YouTube gets more polished, everyone else's, and mine gets more rough. I always like to veer away from what everyone else is doing. Look at that, it's so nice. That is the colour Lit, Bare Minerals, um, Gen Nude, um, Eyeshadow and Primer. I still need to put a slightly softer, liquidy concealer over the top, so I've got this... Um, Delilah one in stone, which I'm just going to run over there as well. I don't like my concealer to be too much lighter because I actually think that that makes it stand out even more. So I try to go for one that's a reasonably similar colour. This is quite a nice soft focus kind of um, concealer, that's why I'm putting it over the top. In with an expert face brush and a little bit of Chanel bronzer because if you can find a bronzer that is cream and like this that does a similar job and cheaper please tell me I know you've got the hourglass ones like that sunset palette it's not as it doesn't do the same job it's not as flat it's a little bit too shiny for where I want to put it this Chanel one is so bloody beautiful. I like that foundation a lot. It's so nice close up. Now I did a live on my daughter the other day and um, she was doing all the product, she was doing my makeup and she was picking all the products and she did such a lovely makeup, she's six, that I wore it out and she used this um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid just on the top of my cheekbones. And I loved it. So I'm going to take a setting brush. Just buff that on the top of my cheekbones. I like it. I like to use my Hush Cream Colour Base with it. But I like that it gives a subtle lift. Straight off. So it gives you a really nice subtle lift. And then I can put my Hush over the top. And they just work really nicely together. You only need a very small amount. Becca are good at highlighters. They're good at skin, aren't they? They do such nice skin products. Isn't that lovely? Dead into skin at the moment. Always am, actually. I also bought this um, Perico MD no highlighter highlighter but i haven't got to use it yet because i'm so into the other stuff that i got so i'm going to pop a little bit of hush cream color base with my finger just over the top of that nothing's going to replace hush oh, itch, itch. and then i also bought these daniel sandler cheap things that my sister's obsessed by and i thought oh, i'll get some and I have been using Lux, I'm pretty sure. These are nice because they come in a four. Um, and there's a glow, there's a cheek, there's a bit more colour for the summer. I think it suits you for all seasons. Well, that's how I feel. And these last for so long. So I'm going to take a little bit. Mm, it wasn't that one I was using. That's the summer highlighter. It was this one, Lux. Really quite watery. I'm going to take a bit of that. And the apples of my cheeks. I also ordered a new Shirimure for hard formula brow pencil because I swear by this and I couldn't find them anywhere. I don't think they sold in the UK anymore. So I had to get this one shipped in. I'm not sure where it came from, but I know they are from originally from Japan, but it's quite long and they do last forever. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my, through my brows. 
anyone got any new shows they're watching on Netflix? I watched Afterlife, which was genius. I've watched Sex, Sex Education. I've watched The Order. I have certain ones that I watch on my own, which are quite teenage ones, because Ian would hate them. It wasn't very good, The Order, but I watched it anyway, because once I start one, I can't stop. And I saw that um, Dynasty started again, so I'm gonna have to catch up on that. I've been watching Grace and Frankie, or Frankie and Grace, whichever way. So just a little bit of something through the brows. And then I want to take a little bit of my um, Suku brow gel through there. Just to add some texture. I didn't buy any eyeshadows. I'm not really a massive eyeshadow wearer at the moment. I go through stages. I did buy lots of lashes though. I really like these um, Swede lashes and they have loads of different ones. I know they did one with Linda Helvig. They've done one with By Terry, which is this one. I think they're super nice. I got those from Selfridges. Um, I just like that the, the um, end is so clear. I've done a video on IGTV that's a real close up of doing false lashes so you can head over there and watch it if you wish to. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit of this um, Bare Minerals powder just over my eye socket just to stop there getting any creasing there. I need a new YSL mascara. I've run out I think. Maybe my I will lose my um, love for YSL because I keep trying other ones. Let's try this MAC Extended Play Perm Me Up Lash. That sounds like, I want you, will you curl my lashes then? I used to do a really nice long wear mascara. I had such a nice wand. Do you know what, when I was sorting through my makeup the other day, I found a foxy lady eye pencil from MAC. They discontinued it years ago. It's tiny, but I'm like literally buzzing, but I don't want to use it, which is pointless. I don't want to use it because I don't want it to ever run out. But if I don't use it, then no one's ever going to see it. And it's such a brilliant color. I'm going to show it to you. Here she is, she's in my hall of brilliance. I've even rubbed off the name, Foxy Lady, but she's like a beautiful, oh, she's crumbling because she's so old. That's how I feel, love. It's like the most beautiful red. Freaking love her. Don't crumble on me. She needs warming up, I reckon. Please don't crumble. I will use you, I promise. Why do brands have to discontinue loved things? Give me a list of all the things that you've loved that have been discontinued. I'm gonna to go to the brands and say, please bring this back, especially Mac stuff. Because I have some contacts at Mac. Maybe I can go in and say, do you think you could bring this back? Please, pretty please. I think they should bring back well, I think they should make a Chanel bronzer copy. I also think they should bring back these. The creamed, um, these are pro sculpting creams. This one is in coffee walnut. They were so brilliant, but they were only pro and then they discontinued them because obviously it didn't sell so brilliantly in pro because people couldn't really get it. Um, so it discontinued, which is a shame. Okay, let's put a lip on and then I'm done. And I'm ready to go and do some food shopping. I have been given so many beautiful nude lipsticks. This one I especially like. This is Art Stick by Bobbi Brown in the colour Bear. I like them when you don't have to wear a lip liner with them. Oh, an itch. You keeping guard, Winnie? You keeping guard? She has a funny dog, a bark, my dog. Winnie? Woo! 
I just look like a nutter because she's not going to respond at all. When she's um, super excited, she does this crazy, weird, high-pitched bark like that. Hi, baby. How you doing? She's a good girl, isn't she? Where's your sister? Or your mother? I'm not sure what we call Tilly. She's not really your mother, but I got you so that Tilly didn't feel like she didn't have any children. And then I got Winnie, and Tilly and Winnie hated each other. Boring story for you there. I really like that. And it came with a pencil sharpener, a giant finger pencil sharpener. That would hurt, wouldn't it? Please do not try that at home. That's it, I'm ready. I'm ready to go and do food shop. Oh, um, my my T-shirt is from a brand called Redone. Um, quite a few people asked me. It's got a nice length sleeves because it covers this bit. Look at it. It's like a little... So gross. It covers that bit, but... Um, it's quite a nice shape on the arms because it, it, it lets enough arm out so you show the shape of the arms. Um, that is from Redone. My necklace, this one is from, you buy little thick charms to go in it. One side's magnifying, the other side's not. I have a little H, a little heart, a little dog bone, a little star and a suitcase. And I have a ring that has Harry and Edie in it as well. Uh, you know, little boy and a little girl. That is from Locket. Yeah. And then this, that so many people ask me about, and these earrings here, are from Lauren Stewart. So I bought this necklace, and so many people asked that I've tagged it in quite a few um, videos. And because of it, she sent me these lovely earrings. All the rest of the stuff I bought. Um, but these earrings she sent me. These other earrings are by Maria Tash. No. No. Are they? Where did I get my ears pierced? Might be Maria Tash, can't remember. Um, I took my top earrings out because I was getting swollen bits and they looked like I was a rugby player that gets those um, bumps, cauliflower ears. So I took them out because they weren't very attractive and um, they healed as soon as I took them out and I've had them in for two years. So it shows that your body just rejects that top piercing, or mine did anyway, and I'm bit annoyed that I took them out and it's closed up, but I'm also like, well, I don't really want a cauliflower ear just to have earrings high up, that actually when I wear my hair up, you see these big lumps on the back of my ears anyway. So, they've gone. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry this video is a bit random, but um, that is me, I'm a bit random. Um, Go over to Instagram. I've done lo lots of IGTVs, which are educational. Um, hopefully you will enjoy them too. And um, I'll see you soon. Pixie Woo on Instagram. See you soon. Bye.